everyone. Welcome to Wager Talk TV. My name is Minty, and joining me today is Yanni the Greek at Greek underscore Gambler on Twitter, and Ralph Michaels at Cal Sports LV on Twitter. This Saturday, we've got the Peach Bowl, Oklahoma versus LSU. Both these teams, very high-scoring offense, so it's no surprise that the total is set pretty high. Um, I don't doubt there will be a shootout, but who are you liking here, Yanni? Personally, I Listen, there's not much to not like about the LSU side. I mean, what they've done this year going into Alabama and actually beating them after Alabama has been unbeatable at home, and the way they beat them is as impressive as it comes. So I understand why they are a significant favorite. But line value-wise, it's just too high. Um, and as bad as Oklahoma may have been against the spread this year, let's not forget this is a team that was pretty much favored every game and significant favorites. I mean, most of those games they didn't cover, they were 20 point favorites. Mm -hmm. Now it's a reversed role. They are now a two touchdown underdog, two completely different things than what we saw from them in the regular season. Uh, so for me, I, I just think that's way too many points. And the one thing with LSU as, as good as they've been and as hard it is to find a flaw, They've done their best work at Baton Rouge. Um, on the road, they allow over a touchdown more per game. They allow 1.2 yards per play more that defense has on the road. Uh, so for me, I think I'll take Oklahoma plus the 14. Hmm. We're going to agree. On the same side? Yeah, you know, I – now add in Clyde edwards Helvery, also banged up, may not play. You know, right now the reports are they're going to probably give him a go. But, you know, if you're the coach, do you say – Let's sit him, perhaps get a win For and have next, him healthy. Yeah, yeah. Or do we risk playing him now and then have him gone? You're missing a guy with 1,290 yards, 50 carries for 399 yards. Yes, Oklahoma has Ronnie Perkins suspended. I mean, their top pass rusher. But, you know, a, a, a suspension's different than an injury. A suspension for kids doing something wrong, people, you can galvanize around them. You can say, hey, listen, you know, next man up. When it's an injury and you're not sure he's going to play and he might be in practice, it's, it's really a different scenario. Couple other numbers. I mean, I don't really put a lot of stock into the Heisman winner has struggled, but Heisman winner has gone five and six the last eleven bowls and three and eight against the spread. There's a lot of media hype you're having to live up to. There's a lot of a lot of uh, award ceremonies he's gone to. It certainly gets to your head. It's part of the reason the line's inflated is because of those historic numbers he's put up. Heisman winners also won five ATS as a double digit favorite, but I look at it as this. Oklahoma has scored 28 points in 51 straight games. Uh -huh. In those 51 straight games, they've been an underdog only four times. They've gone three and one against the spread. The game they didn't cover was when they lost to Georgia by six. They were getting less than six points to Georgia. And I don't know if this LSU team is that much better than that Georgia team. And, you know, you have Jalen Hurst, okay? You can give any stat you want, but when you add in his 18 rush TDs to his passing yards, the bottom line is this. He's 38-3 and three as a starter, and he's beat Clemson twice. And you're getting two touchdowns. You know, and then lastly, you look at, okay, Oklahoma's been here and done that. LSU hasn't. No, they Prepping haven't. Prepping for this with a new head coach. Yes, they've been to a bowl, but they haven't been to the playoffs. Oklahoma, two years ago against Alabama, they outgained them by four yards. Last year, excuse me, two years ago against Georgia, they had the yardage edge. Last year against Alabama, they were, they were outgained by 57 yards and two first downs, still within this point spread range. I think the value is too high. I think the back door is wide open. I so agree. And, you know, to me, I think LSU wins the game. You they know, should. I, I'm not they betting should. Oklahoma they on the should. money line. I don't but, like what I hear coming out of there, though, about how we're going to demolish them yeah. we're we're, we're going to dominate them we're so much better than them LSU our offensive line's better team. our defensive line's better our offense is better our defense like their players are actually saying these things got to be then oklahoma's got some studs on that side the only reason you're the number one seed is because you're in the sec i have both clemson and ohio state rated higher than lsu so that one against four is really a, a misconception in my mind they beat Alabama. That's it. That's why. Very, you know, they had a tough schedule. Very good points. I'm rethinking my lean on LSU. Guys, get 12 full months of all access from your favorite wager talk or sports memo capper for just $1,200. That's $100 a month to receive every play in all sports from your favorite capper, including all 5% plays that sell for $40 by themselves. This is the biggest discount of the year. Just use coupon code GIFT100 at checkout.